a little mistake and it, it was only because he was just pressing on as hard as he possibly could. Scott couldn't capitalise and what a great battle it's been with these two guys. The experienced man with an unbelievable young operator at Cropo. So final turn now, car number two, Garth Tander. Bathurst champion of the year's gone by. Oh, he's in trouble, he's run out of fuel! He's run out of fuel, you cannot! I was setting up, setting up to talk about Tanda, and the opposite has applied. Scott McLaughlin has won this race. Scott McLaughlin and Volvo snatched it. They snatched it with 100 metres to go. They got it the home racing team. I was setting up to talk about a victory for Tanda, and so were they. And all of a sudden it coughed. And this man, the youngest man in the field, has done it for the second day running. Scott McLaughlin, Valvoline, Volvo, Polestar, get the job done. Unbelievable. We thought it was done. All of a sudden, bam. Down the inside comes Scotty McLaughlin. It's his fourth victory of 2014. The second day running, he's picked up a victory. Here's the replay oh. from on board Scott. And he must have thought that Sander arrived in November. And you can see Garth trying to slosh fuel around in the collector, trying to get fuel picked up. Well, it's never over till it's over. That is unbelievable. Is that? Look at the reaction. <laughs> Check him out. How's the that? fist pumping. I mean, you just could not read that. That was, we all thought that was going to be close in terms of fuel consumption. But what great shots now from the Valvoline Volvo S60. And another win for McLaughlin this year. Sensational job. And that's the replay. Garth was a little, there's a bit of gamesmanship in the move over, but he knew he, if he moved it over any further, he would have got hit. And look at all the boys. Adrian Raskin and all the guys looking down there. They cannot believe they've been robbed with 100 metres to go. Well, that caught the entire pit lane by surprise. They gutted at the Holden Racing Team. One man's loss is another's gain for Scott McLaughlin. It's a victory. Maximum points. And I did not think that was going to happen. We knew fuel was tight. We didn't realise it was quite that tight. He'll have a grin from ear to ear, this young man. He did a beautiful job yesterday. It was, the, it was the pressure of the drive yesterday that impressed everybody. And this is the Holden Racing Team duo with Garth Tander giving his, uh, getting a bit of a hand from his old mate, James Courtney. Well, one of the professional race driver code of ethics is never walk home. Well done, <laughs> that's right. So that's a push. And uh, James Courtney's just resting car 22 against car two to push the factory car home. Tander. So what Garth's talking about there is the Highlands 101 last week. He drove an Aston Martin with Tony Quinn, VIP Pet Foods entry, and it was the other way around. The Erebus Benz ran out of gas and then they won. So it just goes to show the seesaw fortunes of Australasian motorsport. That was across in New Zealand, just outside Queenstown. So Garth's pretty philosophical about it, but it was a beautiful drive by both those men this afternoon. Both Garth Tander and Scott McLaughlin did an outstanding job of high pressure, high quality motorsport. In the end, Scott McLaughlin prevails from Garth Tander. Mark Winterbottom home in third, but we didn't see a lot of that because of the incredible excitement of what went on here with this man in particular. <laughs> I just was blown away then. I started looking at bits of paper going, oh, Garth Tander's done this and he's done well. He's actually lost the race. <laughs> Whoops. It was a good battle at the back of, the, of that race also. Wig Cup got right to the back of Winterbottom. Van Gisberg and a good bounce back. Will Davison, great job to be sixth. Bright, Percat, Caruso, Caruso Knight. So all five manufacturers in the top nine. And young Scott McLaughlin for Volvo as the factory team. What a great first year in V8 supercars. That's awesome. You're a bloody ripper. Yeah. <laughs> of course he said that. Yeah. We agree, Scotty. And I'm sure everybody at home does too. It's an infectious enthusiasm. And I'm sure there was a round of applause all around Australia for Australian motorsport fans on that one. He's a likeable character. He's doing a brilliant job at the moment. And he lights up the Valvoline Volvo down there at turn four in celebration. He pulls maximum points, 150 of them today. That helps his cause no end in the championship battle. He's still in there as well for the miners. Let's get amongst it with Barretts.
Well, Scotty McLaughlin, you just never know how you're going to win the <laughs> celebration with Dad. Scott, congratulations. That was a tremendous duel between you and Garth Tander, and you snatched it at the end. Look, uh, I feel... Uh, uh, uh. It's hard. I'm, I'm so pumped right now, but I feel for Garth. He drove an awesome race. That's all I had. And if it wasn't for that, he would have won the race. So um, I've seen it happen before. I never, ever thought that would happen to me, but I'm so glad and so happy for everyone at Valvoline Racing GRM, Volvo Polestar, and this is awesome. It's great. I've got, got some more good news. You skipped up to fifth in the championship. Well, that's our aim. Um, we've just got to keep keep pushing on. I'm not, not winning championships, but that's a big effort for our little team down down Long South. So to everyone at home um, and all my supporters, thank you very much. A, this is amazing. Great work, Scott. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Well, as you said, Neil, one man's misfortune is another man's victory. You're on the wrong side of it this time, Garth Tander. That's heartbreaking. Oh, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, <laughs> Brett. But um, can't thank our guys enough. They did a fantastic job. Uh, I didn't. This wasn't really thinking it was going to be one of our strong tracks this year. But um, guys did an awesome job in the lead-up. Car was fantastic yesterday, and. Uh, about uh, 100 metres, that come up 100 metres short. But uh, thanks very much to all our guys, to all our supporters. Um, looking forward to Sydney. We all enjoyed that great duel. We'll see you in Sydney. Well done, GT. Thanks. Mark Winterbottom, good news for you championship-wise. From 44 points, you've widened that gap to 95 points. That's the positive of the weekend. I know on the start line, too, you wanted to make a point. You wanted to bounce back and get back on the podium today. So well done. Yeah, it's uh, it's good for the boys and, and the girls at the workshop. I'm uh, pretty happy with uh, with that. You know, that's that's all we've got. And when you can get the best result out of all you got, that's what you got to be happy with. But um, pretty epic battle. I wondered why McLaughlin was doing donuts and Tan to come in. But, uh, yeah, good race, good way to finish. And... We'll go to Sydney, but uh, hey, Renee, the boys went home. They um, got out of here early, so uh, I'm bringing home a trophy. That little kiss Oliver gave me at work. Thanks, buddy. Good work. Let's go and grab that trophy. Thanks, mate. Cheers.